The chief Ukrainian spy is much more badass than Putin. Vladimir Putin began his career in the KGB, but he never did any real espionage. Putin was a paper pusher in East Germany. Major General Kirill Budanov is a whole different story. Budanov was just 36 when he was appointed head of Ukraine's military intelligence. Most of his career is still classified, but what we've managed to find out is pretty awesome. Kirill Budanov was born in Kyiv in 1986. He always wanted to be in the military, so he enrolled in the Odessa Military Institute. After graduating in 2007, Budanov followed his dreams further. He joined the main intelligence directorate, HERMO. It's the primary military intelligence agency of Ukraine. What this job entailed is unclear. In an interview, Budanov said, I was an officer in a special unit of HERMO. I served there until the war began. What he means, of course, is the 2014 Russian invasion. In March 2014, Russia annexed Crimea. Then it began a proxy war in eastern Ukraine. The Ukrainian military was in a sorry state back then. It had to rely on volunteers. One of those volunteers was Kirill Budano. Me and my colleagues weren't scared when it began. But the government at the time was wary of sending us to Crimea. This was a huge mistake. If we'd responded with force, there would have been no war in Donbass. Note that Budanov said it. In 2021, before the full-scale invasion, Budanov's service record is sealed. But it seems he served under Maxim Shapovol. Shapovol commanded the 10th Special Unit of Hermo. It's an elite unit that is tasked with special reconnaissance. They made raids into Russian-occupied territory, taking out high-profile terrorists. They're also the ones who are operating behind enemy lines today. They carry out operations and attacks in Russia itself. Budanov served on the front lines until 2017. He had been wounded several times, but the last injury was deemed too dangerous. He was recalled to the capital. That same year, Maxim Shapovol was killed by a car bomb in Kiev. The assassination had been carried out by Russian operatives. Two years later, Budanov Chevrolet blew up. Luckily, he wasn't in it at the time. On August 5, 2020, Budanov was appointed chief of Hermo. It was the first time most Ukrainians heard of him. Budanov took it as a compliment. President Volodymyr Zelensky introduced him by saying, He's an officer who has risen through the ranks of military intelligence, who knows the system inside out, who was on active duty from the first days of the war. He's no desk theoretician, but an experienced officer. In the fall of 2021, Budanov warned of the coming invasion. He said Russia would attack in February from three directions. That's exactly what happened. But this time the military was prepared. Since then, Budanov has arranged several major power exchanges. The war is still ongoing, so he's not disclosing anything else. When asked to comment on fires and explosions occurring in Russia, he said, The Russians always blame us. We always blame the Russians. The truth, as always, is somewhere in the middle.